Tiny Games here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to part six of Coffee Talk. Um, it's been a couple of weeks for me. I had a bit of a cold, so um, I should remember how to do everything. But if there's a couple of little pauses, that's probably why. Anyway, I'll get straight into the story and let's see where we go from here. Do you want to order anything else? Uh, I'm good for now. I'll order again once I finish reading this. Okay then. I'll leave you with whatever that is. <laughs> hmm. Oh man. Oh, Aqua, fancy seeing you again so soon. Hi, Freya. Hi, Tani. Good evening, Miss Aqua. How are you two doing? Same old. I'm good, how about you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Oops, I asked that already. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Is Myrtle here? So far, it's only me and Tanny. We have with us now. We have you with us now, of course. Are you meeting her here tonight? Oh, it's it's not that. I was just wondering whether she's coming here again tonight. You have her email, right? Yeah. Why don't you just tell her to come and meet you here now? That always works for me whenever I want to talk to someone. That wouldn't be nice. It's not that important anyway. I just wanted to follow up on the questions her team sent today. Follow up directly, I mean. Anyway, I should order something. Take your time, Miss Aqua. It's alright, I'll order now. I'll have a cup of tea with lemon and cinnamon, please. Okay, so we need some tea. And we need some lemon and we need some cinnamon. Here you go. Oh, it looks so pretty. If I'm not mistaken, it's called Russian tea, right? Oh, you knew? I heard about it once. I'm pretty sure the only part that's Russian is the name. It was originally from a community cookbook or something. You're right. <laughs> Whoa, that's a highly specific fun fact to know. I guess I spend too much time browsing the internet. When did you arrive, Freya? I've been here since you left last night. Blop, blop, blop. <laughs> Finish drinking first, Aqua. I, I'm sorry. I said you haven't left? I was just joking. Oh, that would be crazy. Why? Oh no, I didn't mean to offend you or anything. It's just that you shouldn't forget to take breaks. You too, Tanny. Please make sure you get enough rest. Of course I will, Miss Aqua. Thank you for the reminder. By the way, Aqua. Yes? Where do you come from? Because judging from your accent, you're not from the States, right? I'm not. I'm from the ocean. Whoa, so you're a full-fledged oceanic? Born and raised in the sea. Why did you move here? Chasing the American dream, I guess. You move with your family? No, I'm the only one who could move here. Oh, may I know why? Uh, it's not easy for our people, especially the females, to get higher education. I got scholarships and the opportunity. I wasn't sure about moving, you know, but my parents pushed me to do it. How long have you been here? Almost two years now. Do your parents visit often? They can't. Do you know how hard it is for my people to get a US visa? I'm sorry to hear that. 
It's okay, we're, we're still in contact. We do a video call at least once a week. Do you have any siblings? Of course. We are sea people. My extended family is probably as big as Seattle's population. Whoa. That's a lot. You really have that many relatives? <laughs> of course not. I was just exaggerating. But if you count my grandpa's kids and grandkids, there are hundreds of us. Holy. How about you, Freya? Do you have any siblings? I have. Not as many as you, I assume. <laughs> I have a little brother. Four years younger. He also lives in Seattle? No, he's living in San Francisco. Near our parents' house. He's the good kid and I'm the rebel. Working some high-end tech job while taking care of my dad on the weekends. That's so nice of him. I know, right? That reminds me. I should visit my parents after finishing this draft. You should. Visit them while you can. I know. Anyway. I want to order something. Another espresso. You know, the usual. Your espresso is ready. Thanks. Bitter? Just the way I love it. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How can I help you, sir? Ah, oh, yes. Hmm. I don't know what to order. Something to raise your spirits, perhaps? Hmm. 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 N nothing you like on the menu? I can make you a custom drink if you like. Actually, are you familiar with STMG? J? STMJ? <laughs> I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. If you can tell me the ingredients, I'm sure I can recreate it. Ah, oh, look at me. STMJ stands for Suzu Tela Madu Jahi. It's Indonesian. It means milk, egg, honey, and ginger. Uh, understood. Wait, do you have eggs? I certainly have. They're not on the shelf, but I'll add an egg once I've mixed the rest of the ingredients. I'd love that. One cup of STMJ, please. Oh god, how have I already forgotten what he just asked me for? She asked for tea. Milk. Ginger. I don't remember what he just asked me for. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Here's your order, sir. Let's see. Hmm. I'm not sure why you gave me this, but it's definitely not an STMJ. <laughs> I failed. <laughs> oh no. Don't worry about it though. This isn't the worst drink I've had after ordering an STMJ in the States. I'm sorry for the mistake. I really am sorry for the mistake. <laughs> Excuse me, may I ask you girls something? Sure, ask away. What kind of things do you kids like doing nowadays? Uh, excuse me? Aren't you college students? Uh, no, we're not. I see. Ah. Uh, may I ask how old you are? Uh, you're being creepy, old man. Go back to your chair and keep your distance. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be creepy. Hey, Tanny. I just... Who is this pervy old man? I want to... I have no idea. It's his first time here. 
I want to be able to understand young people. Thank God you're here, Officer Georgie. What's up? There's a creepy old man trying to flirt with us. Where? You mean him? Yes, but not so loud. This man here is Rachel's dad, Freya. He asked to meet me, so I told him to come here. Oh, I didn't know that Rachel's dad was a pervy old man. No wonder she ran away from home. Everyone, please meet Mr. Furlong, Rachel's dad. Mr. Furlong, please meet Freya and Tammy. Please call me Hendry. I apologize for earlier. I wasn't trying anything funny. I'm sorry about that. Wait a minute. Your name is Hendry Furlong? Yes. And you're Rachel Florencia's father? Yes. Furlong. Florencia? Why do you have different last names? What are you trying to pull? Florencia was my late wife's maiden name. Oh, I'm sorry. Rachel chose it for her stage name. Freya. Okay, I think I better work on my novel. I'm sure you guys have a lot to talk about. Yeah, Freya, I'll come with you. Anyway, what was it that you wanted to talk to me about? It's about Rachel. That night when you drove her home, was she hanging out with shady people? Well, I think one of them was a bit shady. Hey, I heard that! What? I'm not a criminal! I'm just kidding. She was in this coffee shop talking with Freya and Tani here. She wasn't in any danger. Are you sure? What about before that? Whoa, calm down. Is everything alright? It's just that I feel she's getting more and more distant. I don't know how to talk to her anymore. Or even what to talk about. I don't know what kids her age are into nowadays. Every time we talk, we ended up fighting. I have three daughters. We fight all the time. One thing that I learned, give them time and space. But be there when they need you. Or you can just bribe them. One time I had a fight with my eldest daughter. She didn't want to talk to me for a week. I know she loves pizza, so I went to Rocco's and brought her her favourite pie. I left the pizza on the table like a trap. Then I just waited for her to take the bait, just like a steakout. When she took the bite of that delicious pepperoni, I casually grabbed a slice and sat with her. That pizza really helped smooth things over. After that, she wouldn't stop talking. What if... What if... What she loves is doing the problem. Rachel loves singing and performing on stage. I'm proud of what she has achieved with her career. She's really young, but the entertainment industry isn't a kind place. Not the label, not the media, not the fans. And I don't trust her new manager. Rachel's just a little girl. What if she gets harassed or forced to do drugs? Did something happen? Well, nothing's happened yet. I just feel it in my guts. Is it possible that you're just being paranoid? I don't know. Maybe. Psst, Danny, I need to go now. Thanks for the drink. Take care on your way. Well, can't you just find another manager? Rachel's already 18, so legally she can sign contracts without parental approval. I've been trying to tell her to quit, but every time I brought it up, we just ended up fighting. As a parent, there's really nothing much we can do, other than guiding them and being there when they need us. Sooner or later, we'll have to trust in them to make their own decisions. And with everything we've taught them, hopefully they'll make the right choices. What if she made the wrong choices? I can do a background check on that manager, if that will ease your mind. Please do. Okay, give me a name. It's Morris. 
Last name, Lester. Morris Lester. Got it. Oh, isn't he the guy in today's paper? Anyway, I'll let you know if there's a hit. Hold on, I gotta take this. I've just got a call. I've got to go. I'd love to talk more about this with you. Let's meet again soon. Wait, you have my contact details. Call me if you ever need my help. Wait! Don't worry, I'm sure everything will be alright. I used to manage a girl band. I've seen bad things happen. That bad? Yeah. I was against her joining that pop group at first, but my wife, Rachel's mum, she convinced me to give it a chance. Ever since she's been gone, I don't know how to talk to Rachel. With her wanting to do more of her own stuff, I don't know what to do. What do you mean by her own stuff? Modelling and a solo singing career? It's a whole different world than the band. I'm familiar with that side of the biz. But things have changed, right? Even if it has, I don't think it's for the better. She survived being an idol. Even managed to graduate and start a solo career. She sounds like someone who can take care of herself. Don't you think so? She's not ready. I don't want her to get hurt. There are a lot of bad people out there. People that want to take advantage of her. You are her father. I understand you might be worried. However, you shouldn't hinder her from achieving her dreams. I just want what's best for her. Is it really what's best though? I think she's born to soar. But... But she's just a girl. My little girl. Seriously? That's your argument? I didn't mean to sound that way. It doesn't matter whether she's a boy or girl. You'll drive her away if you keep on acting like this. With your knowledge, you should be able to help her achieve her dreams. I was once a stubborn young girl too. Maybe I can give you a little advice on how to handle rebellious teens. I... I'd love to hear it. Is it okay if I stay a bit longer, Tani? Take all the time you need. And there we go. So that's the end of that part of Coffee Talk. That felt like a relatively short and sweet one. Um... It's interesting to finally meet uh, uh, Rachel's father now, um, sort of see his side. He's certainly a very uh, overprotective father, I certainly think. Um, but yeah, it's nice. We're learning a bit more backstory to all these characters. Um, I'll see you again in the next part if you have enjoyed this, um, even me messing up making a drink. Uh, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment and obviously subscribe to the channel um, and I'll see you all in the next part. Bye!